you want to make more money than you ever have before? Do you want to haul classified freight? When you haul for the Department of Defense or the DOD, that's exactly what you'll be doing. Keep watching to learn everything you need to know about team drivers hauling military freight. We'll cover everything from the background check all the way to the skill set needed to perform the job. At the end of this video, you'll have a good understanding of whether or not hauling DOD freight is right for you. Hi, I'm Cassie and I have been involved with DOD from the beginning at ATS. I am um, the person who got ATS cleared as a facility in order to haul for the Department of Defense and I am the person who helps get drivers cleared. So today in this video we're going to cover passing the background check, the day in the life of a DOD driver, tips for success, and how much money DOD drivers earn. The first thing we're going to talk about is passing the background check. Um, a background check is required for any driver that's going to haul Transportation Protective Services or TPS freight. There's a couple of steps to this. The whole process can take a long time, but on your part, it's not going to be uh, incredibly time intensive. The first step that you're going to need to do is complete an SF-86 form. So that's a questionnaire that you will go online to complete. Um, there's a lot of different topics that it's going to cover. It could take up to six to eight hours, potentially, depending on how prepared you are going into the questionnaire. They're going to ask you things like citizenship, travel, marital status, uh, they're going to ask you questions about your family, your immediate family. So the more information you have going into that form, the quicker it will take you and um, the easier it'll be. Uh, the second part of the process for you as a driver is going to be getting your fingerprinting done. Um, that really doesn't take a long time, it's just finding a place anywhere on the road. You don't have to be at your home base, you don't have to be uh, at our corporate office, but as long as you can go somewhere, get a fingerprint card in, send it to our office, we can take care of the rest for you. If you want to see a full list of what's required during this process, take a look at the article in the description below. So the second thing I want to talk about is a day in the life of a DOD driver. Every day is gonna be different. You might not know what you're gonna be picking up until you get there, and that's because this freight is highly sensitive. So the paperwork might come across before you get there, but other times you're gonna be getting the BOL right from the shipper. So each base, each military base that you pick up at might have different security requirements when you arrive, uh, so that's definitely gonna change from load to load. You could have to be escorted by military personnel, um, but that's gonna depend on the sensitivity level of the freight that you're hauling. So drivers definitely need to be aware of the fact that they're hauling classified freight. Um, it's really important that drivers don't talk about the freight that they're hauling with anybody, even other cleared drivers. Really only the people in the office that you're working with, uh, so potentially your fleet manager or the specialty freight manager are the people that you should be talking about that freight with. So part of hauling TPS freight is constant surveillance. So the reason that most of this freight is hauled, or all of this freight is hauled by team drivers is because it has to be under constant surveillance. This means that one driver has to be awake at all times and there has to be eyes on that load every minute of every day. The third thing I want to talk about today is our four tips for ha successfully hauling DOD freight. If you're used to hauling one load after another, hauling DOD freight might be a little bit of a different mindset for you. Safety is always critical, but getting into an incident with a DOD load or a TPS load could be an entirely different story. My first tip is going to be practicing patience. Moving TPS freight may be time sensitive, but it doesn't usually require that drivers run constantly. You could bounce a thousand miles only to drive 200 loaded miles. So even though you have a long bounce, uh, the rates are usually very strong and lucrative, so it's not gonna hurt you uh, in order to take that load. If you're the type of driver that likes to go on one load right after the, another, uh, this might not be a great fit for you. That does happen, but there definitely are times where we'll see breaks in activity. Okay, so home time requests might not always be met because of the urgency of the freight. However, um, because drivers do make a lot of money, uh, we do see that they're able to take home time a little bit more frequently because they don't need to be on the road quite as often um, because their earnings are very high. So our t second tip is to focus on safety. Focusing on safety does require a lot of patience and that is our number one goal. If you haul a a &E, or arms, ammunitions, and explosives, you will have to have a hazmat certification. Uh, my third tip is to be detail-oriented. Attention to detail is very important as you will be dealing with a lot of paperwork on each movement that you do. Showing up without the freight listed on your BOL could result in a ton of questions. So our fourth tip is to be responsible. Uh, both drivers need to be independent and strict. You need to be able to take charge and take action without your hand being held. You may have to communicate three to four times more than you would when you're hauling general team freight. So again, ask the questions, communicate clearly, follow the rules, and you will find success. 
So the final thing that we're going to talk about today is how much DOD drivers make. Even though team drivers may be driving less than they would on general freight, they will still be making more hauling DOD. Each team hauling TPS freight can expect to make between $7,500 and $10,000 each week after expenses. It is a very lucrative line of work because the freight is so important. Driving for the Department of Defense is intense. Are you up for the job? Despite its strict parameters, drivers love being a part of something bigger. If you're up for the job, why not find a carrier that will pay you generously to do it? Now that you know what to expect from hauling DOD freight, you can take the steps to work with a carrier that hauls TPS and AA and E freight. If you want to learn more about hauling DOD freight, take a look at the full article in the description below. Thanks for tuning in for another edition of Over the Road on the Truck Driving Channel. We make videos like this every week. If you found this video to be helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you out on the road.